Once altitude, speed, and weights are entered for the flight, calculated performance data is displayed on the active flight plan window next to each active waypoint. This includes the estimated time en route to the next waypoint. For more accurate fuel and time predictions, en route winds and temperatures can manually be entered. The en route winds and temperatures can also be automatically entered when loading a flight plan from the SD card or MyGDC app. To enter en route winds and temperatures, click on the cross drop-down menu and select Wind Temp ISA. En route winds and temperatures can be entered for specific altitudes for one or more waypoints in the flight plan. Select a waypoint. The planned altitude at that waypoint will be shown. Enter the wind direction, speed, and temperature for the waypoint. The ISA deviation is automatically calculated. Click on Apply, and then Activate. The APEX system will calculate a new estimated time and route and fuel burn based on the new winds. The APEX system can calculate an estimated time of arrival when an estimated time of departure is entered. To enter an estimated time of departure, click on the drop-down menu in the Waypoint list and select Cross. Scroll up to the departure airport and click on the ETD field and enter the estimated time of departure in Zulu. Once an ETD is entered, the APEX system will calculate an ETA for all the waypoints in the flight plan, including the destination and the alternate airport. Entering the ETD is necessary in order to check the predicted rain if planning to fly an RNAV GPS approach at the destination.